Well, this is the season that we love to watch our birds in the gardens. And I'm with Scott Lucan from Backyard Bird Shop in Lake Oswego. So how are you doing? Hi, Judy. Good to be here. Thank you. Good to be here, too. So what should we be thinking of when we're selecting a bird, fee a bird bath or that we have one in our garden? Well, the important thing is that you're thinking about water <laughs> because water really rounds out and completes the backyard bird habitat. Every bird needs water. Not every bird eats seeds or berries or suet, but every bird needs water to bathe and to preen and to drink, of course. And so providing water will bring in birds that you haven't necessarily seen in your backyard before. Uh, so is there something we should look for? Should it be deeper? Should it be shallower for the, uh, the bowl? Well, bird bath bowls are always best for birds if they're shallow because the birds can get in. And when I say shallow, I mean an inch to two inches deep, actually. Although a full bird bath, one that's deeper, will be, will be used by the birds. For them really to get in, the smaller birds want a shallower bird bath. Mm. So if you have a bird bath that is uh, too deep, you can solve that problem by putting river rocks in or pebbles or something like that um, to help the birds find their right depth. And I see you have so many different ones. There's even hanging ones. There's ones that can lay on the ground. And so they'll really go to any of them. They'll go to any of them. My preference is a bird bath that's about three feet high, um, about like these mm -hmm. that you see in front of us. Um, that's a good height and also if the bird bath is stable that works best but not everybody has the ideal situation so some people want a hanging bird bath not quite as stable so birds don't necessarily come to that bird bath first but nevertheless will find it and use it and become accustomed to it and come back to it over and over. Uh, and then what about changing the water is that every day every other day? Really good question um, changing the water is paramount. Uh, birds need fresh water and um, that's what they, they hope to find. So wash out your bird bath when you're out watering your plants or pruning or what have you. Put fresh water in it every day in my yard. Wow. I put fresh water in my bird bath. I know that you prefer a three foot high bird bath, but I see there's one on the ground. So what is that advantage? Well, again, different heights are, are great, but uh, bird bath, many birds are on the ground. That's Ooh, where they sure. spend their life. Toeys, juncos, sparrows sure. of various sorts. And a ground bird bath is going to be more appealing to them. But I would caution anyone who uses a ground bird bath that they're more susceptible to cats. The birds can fall prey to cats if you have cats in your neighborhood. Mm. So if you have a ground bird bath, it's best to put it out somewhat in the open so that the birds can see the cats approaching. Sure, sure. Well, I know that we have all that good information, and I see some other accessories, so I'm going to be talking with Angie, who's the manager here at Lake Oswego. Hi, Judy. Hi. So I see that you have lots of accessories, so why would we use some of these? Birds are really attracted to running water. They equate running water with fresh water, just like they see in the wild. And so by adding accessories that get your water moving, the birds will really be drawn to it. Um, let me show you a few that all we've right. got. So this one we have running up in front here. This is a rock that circulates the water from the bird bath and it is electrical. So you plug it in and it will run um, continuously as long as it's plugged in. That really moves a lot of water and it's really attractive to the birds. It is pretty, it's a fountain and a bird bath. It is, it's yeah, nice. yeah. Um, we also have drippers. The drippers that are here uh, run with water pressure, so they don't require any electrical. Oh, nice. However, they do need to be hooked to a hose bib. Mm -hmm. And they all come with a divider, a little Y splitter, that will split the hose so that you can keep your garden hose for water, but also nice. um, keep your dripper in your bird bath. Oh, that is good. The nice thing about a dripper that's running from a hose bib is it will keep your water full oh, as sure. well. Um, a little drip throughout the day and it maintains a level of water so you don't have to worry about continuously refilling your bird bath because of evaporation. Uh, yeah, those hot days you just want to be out there all the time filling it up. Right, right. Um, this dripper also has a mister tip on it nice. and the mister tip is especially um, attractive to hummingbirds Aww. they love to play in a mister <laughs> so having a mister tip on your bird bath will really draw in the hummingbirds and you'll get to see them frolicking and playing above the bath during the day Aww. that one also keeps your bird bath full oh that is good and so then i see also you have some cleaner so we should be using that to clean the bowls yeah, but this cleaner um, is called Bird Bath Protector, and, and it isn't really a cleaner so much as an additive that goes in the water. Uh, you clean the bath ahead of time, and then you add a few drops of this Bird Bath Protector, and it prevents the algae from growing. Oh, that is helpful. Uh, yeah, it does really help. Um, it'll cut down on the amount of times th that you have to clean your bird bath. Oh, that is great. Yeah, especially in the summer when the algae grows because of the sunlight. Right. Angie, it's summer now, so we don't have to worry about it, but what about for fall and winter? 
We offer several different de-icers to keep bird bass thawed for the winter time because birds do need water year round. Uh, you know, there's so much information that you can get at Backyard Bird Shop about birds, feeding them, using the water for them. You need to come out to one of their locations, go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their websites. Thank you so much for everything. Thank, Thank you. you.